what's going on guys it's your boy ntg back it again with another video in today's video guys i'm gonna show you guys this entry that i did for the vip today this is a ascending triangle uh for buys got some nice buys on nas so i thought this would be a nice little good trade fifty thousand dollar trade i'm falling in profit right now now i did hit my tp but i'm just letting the trade float because I wanted to do a video on this breakdown. So I wanted to show you guys this uh, this pattern here with the triangle. I know you guys been uh, asking me for some more trade breakdowns. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back with the trade breakdowns. I miss doing them. So I definitely want to get into the details of my technicals. See if it, if anything really changed with my trading. Not really. Uh, you know, I'm still doing breakouts and things like that. I just want to show you guys, you know, how you can utilize and maximize um, your trades with the strategy that I use. All right. So. Without further ado, we're just going to get straight into the, uh, the breakdown. So we're going to roll the intro again straight into it. Let's get it. All right, you guys. So we're here back on the on the trade. Now, let's really break the, tr the trade down all together okay so this trade right here was on uh, 15 minute time frame only entry on a 15 minute time frame i'm going to be showing you guys you know how i did all that stuff right so what i want you guys to focus on first is that zone there right that zone of resistance so this was a nice area here that we hit on nas on this resistance area now you guys know with with very trendy markets and bullish markets, they love to break the higher highs, right? And when once these higher highs are broken, this is when the market pushes to its next level, right? Because we get a lot of rejections here, right here, right around that 594 area, 600 area. We get those rejections at the higher high, right? Once we get multiple rejections, we can confirm that resistance. Now, what's so special about the, that resistance at the higher high is that normally when we break these higher highs, we continue the bullish trend, creating higher highs and high lows. And nine times out of 10, once these higher highs are broken, the market pushes for 100, 200, 300 pips. It just, it's nonstop, right? It doesn't feel like the market wants to slow down anytime soon buys just kick in like crazy right we have a a period in the market where it's consolidating maybe even forming a pattern and then we can re-enter that so what i'm here what i'm trying to say is you know when you wait for movements like this right these are the perfect opportunities to find an entry point right because we don't want to enter at the top right we don't want to enter at the top and get in too early we want to wait for the market to kind of show its colors and for me, my approach to do that is with breakout trading. So when the market is is in a nice trend right now, we're bullish. I wait for it to create some sort of foundation, right? Some sort of structure pattern so that I can enter the market. And for for this one, we use the triangle. OK, I love ascending triangles. If you guys are an OG of mine, you guys been following me for a while. You know, I love to trade triangles, especially when it's going with the trend i mean it's like it's pretty much almost like guaranteed profit for me but you know with this approach you guys want to pay attention to the market right and what do i mean by that well what is what has the market been doing so far with Nas? right we have been creating higher highs and high lows we have been in a nice uptrend here as you guys can see been in a nice uptrend here as you guys can see, we have a period of consolidation, a nice sideways market, and then we get that bull run, right? So if we're looking at everything here, we get a get a range in the market. And then we get that nice run, that nice bullish run. Once it once it breaks up, we get that nice run. And then again, we have a period of consolidation. And then we get the next run market just creating high highs and high lows and then here we are again right so making that same the same thing here 
but this time we created a nice pattern so we're in a nice uptrend we had identified that we're in a nice uptrend and we also identified that we have a nice pattern to trade now I was looking at I always like to look at my swings when I trade my my pattern so you know I like to wait for at least two touches on my trend line and also on my support resistance our support you know depending on if the market is bullish or bearish but you see the multiple touches and why we need multiple touches this way is because we need to see that the market is respecting these areas so for us if we see the market is respecting these areas especially a lot when it's coming to that area is rejecting it's coming to that area showing signs of support we know this is a strong area and once this area is broken we can we can almost guarantee the market is going to fly in that direction right because it has broken so much structure so for the market to break that structure it has to show that either buyers or sellers are in control so we had a lot of rejection we had three rejections right at around that 19600 area so as a trader we know that if that area is broken that means buyers are in full control right because sellers try to bring price down the first attempt it brought it back down to a certain level price point and it didn't work it came back again sellers tried to push the market back down right so if we look at this here every time we, we touch that that 19 590 area market pushed down you guys can see the sellers were in good control here we pushed it down 220 pips buyers came back in control we hit that resistance area again sellers came back in control but this time that's 100 pips less right it it couldn't really push the market down as it did last time so when you guys see signs like this this is a great sign as far as saying that okay buy, buyers are actually starting to gain control of the market again because every time the sellers come in we see less and less selling pressure as we're approaching the break of the pattern and this is why i love breakout trading because you can see small signs like this that will give you the confidence and pretty much that guaranteed direction that hey buyers are slowly taking control of the market and these are the signs that you guys can see and uh to be able to get into these trades and so I'm, I'm, you know i'm watching the market watching it make higher high lows and another high low and then another high low so i'm seeing that the market is starting to uh the buyers are starting to come into control so obviously here if, when i'm seeing all these signs here i want to get into buys okay first of all we're in an uptrend creating higher highs and high lows two we see selling pressure starting to die so we know the market is going to go into a nice bullish direction but we need to find a way how to enter this right because we don't we don't want to just grab any trade and we don't want to enter right at the top of the trend right not saying it's bad but you know we're going to miss a lot of this move here right because we have we don't want to leave this is more than 100 200 pips on the table it's like you know we want to grab as much profit as we can right and we don't want to enter too early right we don't want to enter here because sometimes these can cause fake outs especially for new traders that that really can't uh handle drawdown so you know a lot of traders that struggle with drawdown you know this small drawdown here can actually cause new traders to exit a trade right there are 30 40 pits in drawdown that may be a lot to them or you know maybe their account size you know depending on the situation entering too early or too late can cause small drawdown which can ultimately lead to bad trading psychology especially if you have bad uh, money management and you can potentially close the trade too early and then you will miss this big move here so how i like to enter my trades is with candlestick confirmation and my number one candlestick confirmation is the one two three engulfing so let's zoom in on that right so you guys can see my confirmation so right here is my confirmation you guys will see that we have one red candle two red candles and then what's special about this candle here is that it engulfs the previous candle and so once i see that engulfing of the previous candle this is an entry point for me right but not only that 
I look at the engulfing, I'm also looking at the support that the trend line provided. So these are two confirmation ways to enter the market. So I'm not just entering because, oh, we had a one, two, three engulfing, right? Because we had one here, right? We had one here too. So why not enter there? Well, we don't want to enter there because we didn't really get that confirmation off a of structure. And that's the real big key thing there is. It's making sure that your candlesticks, your candlestick confirmations are coming off of structure, right? So this is what makes this uniquely different than these. These are the same uh, candlestick confirmations, but where the confirmation appears and where it's coming from is completely different. So this will be a game changer if you understand that being at the support of the trend line versus just being in the middle of price makes it a big difference in entering the market. So this was my key my key um entry here. Once we came off of that trend line of support, got into that entry, and now I like to call this that entry a pre breakout, okay? Because there, there would have been two ways to enter this, right? There's a way to enter before the breakout, which I'd love to do because, like I said, we don't want to leave, we don't, we don't want to leave pips on the table, right? You're talking about a hundred pip difference. But there is a way where you can enter. You can, you know, if you want to be more reserved, if you want to be safer, you can actually just enter the break. Okay. So with my entry, I enter with a pre breakout. But if you're a new trader, you want to get into breakout trading, you can also enter right at the break. I also use that as like extra, you know, confirmation to even scale in and add a position at the break. So you guys can enter here as well, right at the break of your pattern. And as you can see, it's still a flawless trade, right? You had a little drawdown, not too much, about 10, 15 pips of drawdown. That's, a, that's nothing. And this trade would ultimately went into the TP. Now, what's also important is to be able to set your stop loss and your TP. Now, how I set my TP is with the FIB extension. So I'll take my FIBs, I'll come to the bottom of the wick, all right, and I'll drag it up to where the break candle is, right? Because this is where we got our break. So I'm clicking that again, and then what I'm doing is I'm dragging it back down to the wick. And you guys can see, if you guys pay attention to this 2TP here, we got an exact TP hit right here. So this is the area that I want to pay attention to. Do you guys want to pay attention to? To take your profit, okay? So like I said, we enter the trade here. Now to find the TP, we use that, fame, that same uh, fib that we drag. And then we just want to drag our TP there. Nice 250 pips grab right there. Beautiful, beautiful trade there. Beautiful trade there. Coming into the market. And you can go ahead and close that out. And that's what your trade will look like. Okay. And like I said before, you know, when you enter that pre breakout, you can also re enter the market again to scale in at the break the pattern so let's say you got into the break the pre breakout you're in a nice floating position and profit you're nice and floating i'll probably actually hold this nice trade past the tp i want to use this as like a nice swing i'll probably update you guys on this trade actually later but i want to use this as a nice swing because i do believe nas will come back to the all-time highs again so i just want to have a nice buy position for uh for nas when we do that run but like I was saying before, you know, if you have a position down here, it's nice floating in profit, 100 pips in profit. You can actually add another position here. Right. So now you have two positions in. OK. And then, of course, you want to set your st your um, stop loss at that first break even where your first position was. You want to set that to break even. And then th the scaling position. You want to set your stop loss there as well just so you're protecting your account. And what I would advise you guys to do is when you guys scale in, do not double your initial position. It should be half of your, your initial position, okay? So this is what's gonna protect you, especially if the trade starts to go into a little drawdown. You don't want this position to overpower this position. Cause that's, that's a lot of mistakes that new traders do is when they try to scale in, they actually double 
the lot size that they first put in if you guys want to grow an account you should focus on maximizing your first position because this is your base so think of it as like a base and you're building blocks on it right if you don't have a good base it's going to be nearly impossible to build a, an account especially a small account because you got to understand like the base is so important with everything so when you guys are let's say you have a base and then when you guys are scaling in you want to triple quadruple your your um scaling position what's going to happen is your base position is going to collapse because it's, it can't hold it right and you guys if you guys are new traders you may have done this before it is a mistake that happens um you know let's say you enter this at like a standard but your scaling position you entered three standards right and all it takes is just a little drawdown right you can go in a little drawdown and now you're potentially over leveraging and you can margin call the position early because just this small little drawdown pullback is actually putting you in a negative so quickly even more than what you may have risked initially for this position okay so when you guys are scaling in make sure you're doing half do half even a quarter even better right that's the purpose of scaling in just small little extra profits you know little extra dessert right think of your first position as the entree and your scale-ins are like little desserts little cookies little little piece of cakes you know that you can have after the entree but you know you can't have two entrees you can't have three so just make sure that you guys are practicing i just want to put that small note in there for those that may have struggled with scaling in that may be your issue is you know you're just going too heavy on your scaling in. so you know lower your scaling and you will see a big difference with that so this was a quick breakdown of this uh non trade i hope you guys do enjoy that if you guys want me to do more trade breakdowns like this i will um i'm going to actually be doing some futures videos as well i'm still practicing a little bit on the future side of things but i will start doing some like analysis for future trades uh, i'm gonna be showing you guys some of my future trades and the pairs that i'm going to be trading things like that because i know i have actually it's funny i have a lot of followers that actually trade future so I, you know i thought a lot of you guys trade forex but you know i asked you guys on my instagram and you, a lot of you guys trade futures so you know your boy's gonna make that transition and i'll probably do both i'll probably just you know stay with what i know and also doing uh futures on the side all right so if you guys want to see more trade breakdowns i've been taking a lot of trades gold um nas if you guys want to see me break it down like this make sure you guys leave a like make sure you guys comment below what you guys want to see next in the video i appreciate you guys tuning in and yeah we're gonna get right back into these breakdowns so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and like i said make sure you guys leave a like for your boy it was your boy ntg and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. And I'm out. Peace.